pro-Palestinian protests are continuing at schools nationwide and at the University of Toronto. Demonstrators show no signs of letting up. Maria Sru joins us live now with more about the growing movement. Maria. Adam, protesters say they are settling in and every day it seems more feasible to stay for the long haul. That's despite warnings from the university's administration of legal repercussions if protests threaten the safety of students. All day, supplies and food have been trickling in to the pro-Palestinian encampment at the University of Toronto. Just asking them what they need and, and um, I'm going to go out and buy it for them. And the protesters have tents full of water and necessities. That's despite some tense moments. Sir, we have things that need to come in. At the main entrance to the fenced area. I don't understand. When people who aren't students, faculty or alumni try to get in. <laughs> Demonstrators say morale is running high and they're not going anywhere. We're committed to staying here indefinitely. Definitely. Yeah, we're not budging until President Gertler and his administration meet our demands to the word. They're calling on the university to disclose all financial holdings, divest from investments that sustain what they call apartheid, and end partnerships with Israeli universities. There are at least 120 tents here at King's College Circle in the University of Toronto's downtown campus. Earlier, demonstrators wrote poetry, now letters to Palestinian prisoners. And with protests being peaceful, there's a very limited police presence. But last night, university leadership wrote to demonstrators saying the school has received reports of concerning language that could be described as discriminatory, threatening or hateful, and is warning protesters they could be charged with trespass or destruction of property. It's been eight days since the first protesters pitched camp at Montreal's McGill campus. Since then, the movement has grown to three post-secondary institutions in Ontario and three in British Columbia. And today, the University of Manitoba says it's aware students are planning a three-day encampment next week. The head of Hamilton's Jewish Federation says he's worried for the safety of Jewish students if demonstrations expand to schools in our region. I think they don't feel protected, but they feel isolated. You know, it's all these efforts in order to accommodate something that it's I mean, no doubt, anti-Semitic. But in Toronto, Jewish protesters say the encampment has been a safe space. We're hearing from many Jewish people and parts of the Jewish community that, they're, that they feel that they're unsafe here or they feel that, that even the, the existence of the camp makes them unsafe. But I, I don't think that that many of those people have actually been here. CHCH reached out to both Brock and McMaster about how they intend to respond if encampments pop up. We only heard back from a McMaster spokesperson who said the school is watching the situation unfold with deep concern and they hope to continue working closely with student organizers to ensure peaceful protests.